How to ESSM 406. In this lecture, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what a market externality is. So an externality is something that's outside of the transaction. I'm going to give you a link to a more technical presentation of what an externality is, but I want to give you a more intuitive sense of what an externality is, because actually what I care about in this class isn't that you can do the mathematical calculations that lead you to understand what an externality is, but what I I want you to understand is how you can apply the concept of an externality. So what's an externality? Well, I was just telling you in the previous lecture about how a market is a, is a socially created institution where certain people are given property rights and they can buy or sell those property rights. But certain people are left outside of those property rights. So let's say you own a piece of land along a river. And uh, maybe you withdraw water from the river for your, say, for your irrigation or for your drinking water. Well, uh, you have a right to use the water in the river, but someone else upstream from you has a uh, factory, right? And they are producing something. Let's say they have a hog farm and they're growing hogs. And hogs poop, right? And hog poop isn't really that good to eat, and they have a lot of hog poop, and uh, so they dump it in the river, right? So now, my drinking water is full of hog poop, right? So, what just happened? Well, I, ha I have the right to withdraw water, but the guy upstream, he has the right to dump the, dump the hog poop. He is producing hogs. And so, no one's decided who has the right to use the river whether I have the right to 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 uh, to uh, have clean water, or whether he has the right to to dump this stuff, dump the poop, so uh, his his behavior is creating a negative externality for me. I'm going to get sick because I'm drinking this water, right? And that's because he has a, is is doing his, pursuing his own, it's a free market, I can do whatever I want, I'm raising hogs so I can make my living, and I'm allowed to dump, dump this poop in the river, right? So that's called a negative externality. You can also have a positive externality. I think a really simple example of a positive externality is uh, if, uh, let's say, the city builds a park in your neighborhood, right? Well, the park will probably raise the property value of your home. But you, you didn't pay for the park. Someone else paid for the park. The city paid for the park. Taxpayers paid for the park, not you. Uh, but you get, you get a lot of benefit from the park. So that's a positive externality. Externalities aren't only negative or, or positive. Or they can be positive as well. But uh, when we start thinking about it, a lot of environmental problems are about externalities. So think about air pollution. Someone's producing electricity with a coal-fired power plant. Someone else is driving to work. They're minding their own business. They're doing their own thing. And they, have, they may not even intend to harm anybody else. But their activities have a negative impact on us, even though we're not part of the, their decision. No one's paying for it. Now, we could allocate property rights differently. We could say, I have the right to have clean water, and if you dump poop in my river, then I can sue you. I can prevent you from doing that. And in fact, that's essentially what the U.S. Clean Water Act says. The U.S. Clean Water Act essentially says that we have a right to clean water and that we can actually sue. It's actually we sue the government, but... We can sue the government to stop other people from polluting our water supply. So uh, we'll talk more about these kinds of solutions in next. But what I want you to understand about an externality is this idea that people are making market transactions. Those market transactions are perfectly fine and legal, but they have negative repercussions for other people who are not part of the transaction. I'm, I'm, I'm receiving a negative cost because of the poop in the river. But no one, is, no one is paying for that. That's an externality. So I encourage you to watch this more technical presentation. I'll provide you a link for it. But that's the basic idea behind an externality.